Now let's take a deep dive all the way down to our cells. So much of who we are lies in the makeup of our DNA. Can some diseases be prevented just by learning more about our genetics and how we came to be? Well, I've come here to Sidra Medicine to meet Dr. Sarah Tome, who heads the Omics Core Research Lab, to find out more about genetics research. Dr. Tome, thank you so much for having us today in your lab. The study of human DNA is so important to understanding and ultimately diagnosing human diseases. Knowing this, Qatar and Sidra Medicine have invested so much in this field. How has this investment impacted your work? So the last couple of decades, I've seen a rapid increase of uh, diversity and in the number of uh, genomic technologies. In 2003, the first draft of the human genome was released with the completion of the human genome project. This initial draft was, however, only nearly complete accounting for about 92% of the human genome, but 8% of the human genome was at that time not available. However, with the improvement in the technologies, a lot of other platforms came on the market, including the long read sequencing platform. Those are the platforms we have available at Sidra. So this means that we now know the complete sequence of the human genome. We know the exact sequence of the 3 billion base pairs across 23 chromosomes of the human genome. So the human genome is now gapless. And this is very valuable because this information can also help understanding how uh, human genomes vary and also to understand how the newly discovered variants influence health and diseases. You're also involved in a collaboration with the archaeological team at Qatar Museums. Can you tell us more about this initiative and what you hope to achieve? This project aims at providing a better understanding of the prehistoric uh, society living in Qatar. So the Middle East and Qatar lie at the crossroads of the old world, where Africa, Europe and Asia meet. Due to this uh, geographical location, Middle East and Qatar has played a central role in human evolution, being the passageway for migration between Africa and Asia. What we aim in this project is to fill this knowledge gap and to provide more information about the prehistoric society that were living in these regions and also to infer evolutionary processes of human. Now, Dr. Tomei, you work with a lot of high-tech equipment in this lab. Do you mind showing us around? Yeah, sure, let's go. So one of the technology I'm going to show you here now is called BioNano and provides optical genome mapping. The instruments we have in place is called Sapphire, and this is what you see here. And this technology is quite uh, useful to detect large structural variations that are missed by other sequencing technologies. Now, large structural variations are responsible for many diseases, including de developmental disorders and cancer. So it is very important that we uh, identify and detect large genomic variations, structural variation. The nanochannel are structured included in the uh, sapphire chip that allow the linearization of DNA molecules. And this is important because when we run the DNA, we can actually see single DNA molecules. And this is what I'm going to show you now. So what you see here, in fact, are single molecules of DNA. Those are not sequences where the backbone is stained in blue with an intercalating dye and the green dots are the label. This might be indicative of structural variation. 